what's up y'all how has the week been so far for you i hope it's been good like there are a lot of happenings man and lagos has really been somehow but regardless how has the week been for you hope everything is okay so today um on today's video i am going to be making a review on a cream called g and g yes a cream called g and g i know you guys are surprised like what that cream so is that cream still existing yes the cream is still existing like when i went to the store i also felt the same way when i saw the cream like i was like wow so i just i was just like okay let me just go and try it out so i can so i can tell you guys what i think about the cream don't mind me i am a product junkie like i move from products to products i just like testing new things that was one of the things that initiated me starting youtube like i have used tons of products i've used lots of creams lots of soap blah 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 so today we are i am going to be making a review on g and g cream when i saw the cream i bought it then i checked youtube to see the review people made on the cream and all the all the reviews they made about the cream was really really bad so is the cream good is the cream bad stay tuned to find out So welcome back to my channel. So today, like I said, I am going to be making a review on G and G cream. Here, yeah, here's the cream. I, I hope you guys can see it. Here's the cream. So when I I came across the cream, um, I read the um. What, what even caught my attention, um, was when I saw the ingredients they use in making the cream. Like I was really really surprised. I was like, wow, I really have to check this. So is the cream good? Is it bad? The cream is neither good. The cream is neither bad. If you know how to use it, well, it will give you a good result. And if you don't know how to use the cream, it would give you a nasty result. Really, really nasty. So if you know you are going to be using this cream, there are some do's and don'ts. You get me? There are some do's and don'ts. There are things you should do and there are things you shouldn't do if you are going to be using this cream. So I am going to be going to the um, ingredients. I'm going to be reading out the ingredients to you. Please permit me, I won't be able to pronounce everything I see because what I'm seeing here are just crazy words. Okay, so um, the cream says the sunscreen lightning body lotion G and G clears and ensures a spotless skin. It's new DSN 56 formula, kojic acid and beer berry extract has been studied to give you a woolly fair complexion. G and G underscores the perfection of the color of your skin. So the ingredients used in making it is aqua water, um, steric alcohol, petroleum, um, paraffinium, liquidium, kojic acid, astrophilus. UVA, yeah, he has some sunscreen, which which is good. Um, whenever you like him, cream has sunscreen filter. It's very 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 good. Um, what else? What else? Um, isopropyl, my my restate glycerin, one percent, AHA. You see, um, when when the cream has AHA in it, it's really really good. And the AHA was listed here. That's citric, gluconic, glyco glycolic lactic malic salicylic and titaric acid and the rest i can't pronounce it let me not see rubbish so you people know no use me to be laughing okay so the the ingredient listed here really really caught my attention i was like i really have to use it so now if you know you want to use this cream like this cream is really really affordable like i got it for 400 naira yes i got it for 400 naira so if you know you are going to be using this cream, there are certain things you should do and certain things you shouldn't do. Number one thing you should you shouldn't do if you are going to be using this cream is do not promix this cream. I beg, please, do not promix this cream. This cream is naturally very very active, so you don't need to promix it. You might be wondering that okay, um, can I add um? anti-reaction all these anti-reaction tubes like um alodem skin good i would advise you don't like you know those those tubes still contain steroids in it so you should and this cream is naturally really 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 active the funny thing is there was no hydroquinone stated here or you know when, when the cream contains hydroquinone there's this way it smells it has this kind of funky smell the, this cream has has a funky smell Mm, it, it has a funky smell, but 
the smell is not that funky it's not as funky as um dodo cream and um ah, there's this other cream i can't remember but they still um hydroquinone in it so number one thing is you shouldn't promix don't even add tubes to it for anti-reaction there are other things you can add you can decide to add a miracle powder for your anti-reaction or you can um i'm going to move on to the next so number two thing is i already said you shouldn't promix so the second thing is if you are going to be using this cream i would advise you add oils to it this cream works well with oils although it's it's it's, a, it's very very thick so when you add oils to this cream it's losing it and it's you know it's it's turns into a, let me just say it loosens it loosens the cream so if you had oils to and when i say oils i don't mean you know they are whitening oils they are toning and brightening oils they are lightening oils they are glowing oils now the oils i mean are the glowing oils those oils that would glow your skin and when i say glowing oils i mean um oils like um um rescue rescue oil um tissue oil this tissue oil and um um and what other oil what other oil and um bio oil yes bio oil those three oils are very very good you might be wondering uh, i thought you said these oils are for i used for stretch marks because in my other video i talked about stretch marks in case you've not um you've not watched that video you can check it out on i, I said something about stretch mark yes yeah, those oils um they um take off stretch marks they don't take off they fade off stretch marks but they also glow the skin so if you are going to be using this cream, so if you are going to be using this cream, you can add oils and not just bio oil, not just rescue oil, not just the tissue oil. You can add natural oils, you can add carrier oils, you can add um, essential oils. And when I say essential oils, remember I said um, you shouldn't add anti-reacting to, to this cream because it's naturally active. You could add, um, there are some oils that, natural oils that has this anti-reaction properties. Um, oils like, um, nature, um, sorry, neem oil oils like um tea tree oil those oils are very very good like they prevent you from reacting they prevent you from having skin reaction so those oils you can add those oils to it instead then when i say um um carrier oils i mean oils like um almond oils um carrot oils sunflower oils argan oils jojoba oils those oils are very very good on the skin like they glow the skin like cray cray they really really glow the skin so you could add those oils to it and trust me you would really really like yourself so um the third thing you should know about this cream or if you are going to be using this cream is that do not use the cream when you know you are going to be going out use the cream only at night although me i use the cream morning and night that was because i wasn't going anywhere though and days when i know i am going to be going out i make sure i don't use the cream so um when you if you know you are going to be going out please don't use this cream i beg you don't use this cream especially if because this cream contains some um it contains aha and aha makes your skin very very sensitive to the sun so don't be surprised if when you use this cream especially when you rub the cream on your face when you rub the cream on your face and you go out you'll be having sunburn like sunburn on your body so please if you know you are going to and it also contains even though it's not written there it contains um hydroquinone and you know hydroquinone and the sun are not friends so if you know you are going to be using this cream i know you are going to be going out use it only at night you get me you get me <laughs> okay so that's the third thing then the fourth thing is that um when you've used this cream when you've used it for like a month i would advise you stop using it you switch to a maintenance cream I'm going to be making a video on maintenance cream you could use this maintenance cream they have um, anti-aging properties and they don't make you dark they don't make you light they just maintain that particular complexion and also give you that youthful glow like you'll be looking fresh and younger than you looked before so once you use this cream for a month please switch to a maintaining or a maintenance cream it's it's very very good because long term of this cream <laughs> The result is really 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 going to be very very nasty so and aside that you know when you use this cream for a long time and there's this particular way you start smelling yes there's this particular way you start smelling when you use this cream for a very long time you know they say wisdom is profitable i i don't i don't know the, the main one please let me correct it in your mind don't mind me <laughs> okay so 
you know in everything you you need to use wisdom i see no i don't see anything wrong in you deciding to bleach your skin there is nothing wrong in you deciding to bleach your skin it's a choice god gave us choice it's a choice you could decide to lighten up two to three shades four to five shades it's a choice but you know when you if you know you are going to do that you do it with sense you do it in a very reasonable way in a way that you not know, when when you pass people will, people will cover their nose or when you pass people will be like ah again again oh oh it's it's not good so if you are going to if you are going to lighten up or tone up you do it in a very very right way you you add wisdom so when you use this cream for a month please stop it you switch to a um a maintenance cream then also another thing about this cream that I noticed it it gave me green veins like. I have to st I have to start working on it like this cream gave me green veins so if you know you are going to be using this cream you need to get your um, shenic oil your shenic stage 2 or your cook kenako or your um, um, whitening kenako that's the um, I, I don't remember I don't remember but your shenic or your crude kenako it's it prevents you from having um it prevents you from having green veins and also if you are um if you have stretch marks like you have stretch marks all over your body this cream is not for you be cool this cream is not for you don't use this cream because if you have stretch mark all over your body and you use this cream it will worsen your stretch marks hope you get what i am saying so if you are using this cream don't and you have stretch mark do not use this cream so that will be all for today. I hope you find this very, very, very helpful. And please do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Just hit that subscription button. It doesn't bite. Hit it. Hit it. Please. Eh? <laughs> Don't mind me. But honestly, that subscription button doesn't bite. Don't forget to subscribe. Just hit it. Eh? So that will be all for today. Do have a nice day. Bye.